What'd you just say? Uh, I feel like I got hit by lightning. <laughs> well, yeah, that'd be a good thing. So <laughs> might end up down there. Um, I've been um, through hell for 14 years, and I have had 13 surgeries. And they just told me uh, two weeks ago I was going to have another one in six weeks. And God just healed me back there. Yes. And I, uh, my hip pain, I've, I've had all these pelvic surgeries, and I've had two hip surgeries just this year. And they were telling me I needed another hip surgery. I don't have any cartilage left. And they basically just told me I don't have any more hope that it's just going to be like this. And I even had a near-death experience in 2005, and God made me come back. And I'm thought I would have to live like this because I just thought that was what God said I needed to do, and it was just a lie. So I just want to tell you it's just a lie from the pit of hell, and I agreed with it for so long. And so don't agree with it because it's not true. It's the enemy. You have to believe God wants to heal you. I just told my new friends I thought it was God just used my testimony in pain. And there's a lot of fruit born of that, but that's just God's grace. And he wants to heal you. So please believe him and don't believe the enemy. And I am just, look, watch this. I haven't been able to do this in four years. Okay, watch. Woo! Okay, I'm going to fall down. Yay! <laughs> I realize. I realize that looks like nothing to some of you, but when you have a hip that has no cartilage, you cannot get your leg up like this. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Come on, Jesus! Woo! That's worth standing up on. Let's stand up and praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Let's give him praise. Let's not take it for granted. Let's give him glory. We glorify him. He's the healer.